All right, I've never done this before, but we're going to give this a try. Behind me, what you see over my shoulder, is about 300 yards back through the woods is a trail that splits off and away from this. The stream is over there and runs up from that. And this is what we're going to call the driveway. I'm at the beginning of what's left of an old trail or an old loggers uh, or a mining road that runs up through these woods. Now that down there is where we just came from. You can see what I'm going to call the driveway, which is that old logging road. And this right here is the section that we're going to be working in, this clearing section. There's a several year old fire ring right there that somebody put up. And over there there's a pile of sticks and there's a newish fire ring that's been used within the last mm, four months. But otherwise it's pretty clean. And you can see that we have a ton of resources to deal with. Grapevine, saplings, tons of down hardwood, and of course a moving stream right there down some 10 or 12 feet that goes off into the woods. Big hill up there which we'll go explore. I decided finally that this is where I'm going to work, right in here on this little plateau. You can see my bag right here. I'm going to work in this area right here. There's a big rock there that's going to make a big, that's going to help with the fire pit. That's south. Down there is where we were talking about with the old fire ring and the new fire ring and it's down there. And as appealing as that kind of looks, south would put my back to the trail and my back to this hill. And there is a lot of deer scat and other scat that was is probably bear or coyote scat um, all down on that plateau. So I'm gonna work up here on this hill. It's a little bit more out of the way and I'd probably be better served up here with moisture as well as animal, seeing animals. Okay, we're supposed to get uh, um, showers today. So before I get caught out in a pouring rain like I did last week, I decided to set up a little quick thing and keep my stuff dry and me dry. Um, ooh. Nice places for snakes to live. Uh, uh, so, I'm up here. That's over the top. Got plenty of resources to work with. I'm gonna have to drag stuff up here, like the stream and stuff. I'm not very close, but, you know, I'm, a, I'm 120 yards off the stream or something like that, but big deal. I'll be up here. I'll have a good vantage point. All right. These are the five main saplings, or small trees that I harvested. They were either partially dead, just dead, or not, no possibility of grown because they were wrapped around with other ones. There's the, where we're gonna do the fire pit right there. I separated out all the rocks I found, I cleaned out the area a little bit, moved everything as you can see. And we're going to put this bad Larry right here. Right in this area, right here. It's going to go span between this tree 
and that tree right there, although I'm not going to really use the trees per se, but I'm going to use that flat area right there. And it kind of faces southwest, really south southwest. Back far enough so you can't really like look up into it if you were down there, but I have a good view of this whole run. The whole stream run, this whole animal run down the bottom, all over the tip of this. And the back of it's pretty protected from the wind and whatever. Well, just to get a quick visual of what I'm doing, these are, this is how this is going to lay out. It's going to be an X. I'll move over to the side here. It's going to be an X on the ground, like on the ground here. There are going to be hoops that go up and over like a wiki up. That back piece right here that runs the back of this and sticks out over the edges that is going to support a hoop like a lid of a baseball cap. So once this all goes up, it's going to be kind of like a wiki up. And this is going to be the front of it facing what will be a fire area. And then down over the hill over here kind of facing in that direction right there. And then these two big trees right here can be additional for a hammock. And I have plenty of vision. All right, so there are the main X hoops. It was fairly easy to put up. Um, my positioning was not quite what I would have hoped at first, but I think I've straightened it out. Who knows, I put little rocks on the edge of it. I don't think that those are gonna help at all, but I put them there anyway. All right, well, hopefully you get a better idea of what we're talking about now. So here's the frame. You see the little hoop going out the front. Not quite what I was planning on doing because there's some cross bracing. I had to put them on, use the the hoop thing in the front to do the cross breaking. But you can see that I'm going to put a a lid over the front of it, if you will, um, so you can sit underneath the awning of the whole deal. And then it comes around the back like this. I braced it up with some boulders in the corner, as you can see. But that's kind of what it is right here. I was going to use grapevines for that hoop, but all the ones that I found were sadly brittle. So I had to make my porch using these. Now all I have to do is fill in with some branches. I'll tie on some branches. You can see that I've been tying all this stuff on. I've got some jute string. And uh, like that, and we should have the frame all up. I don't know how long all this took, but it didn't, took me, as suspected, took me a lot longer to figure it out than it did to actually build it. Well, as you can see, it's getting late. I'm out of sticks, I'm out of water. But this is what I got done so far, the end of day one. I normally don't tie anything on. I usually just do my little cross pieces like this and I just leave them and let the friction do it. But I decided that since I tied that whole centerpiece up and did this hoopy thing, I might as well just finish tying it. So I've been tying it on and that takes an extra couple of hours to do all these pieces and get them all in there. So there you have it. But, hold on, wrong way. This is what we got. It's a little piazza, if you will. So we should be able to sit right in here. Hold on, I'm just trying to show you what it is. It's facing south. We should be able to sit right in here like this. And we should have this view. And this view right here is that whole flatlands, man. All of that going all the way down that river. I haven't heard a person or a car or anything all day long.